In this video, I'll demonstrate how to create an autonomous op mode that causes a robot to seek and grab Rover Ruckus Gold Minerals. To access an introductory video on using TensorFlow, use the link displayed on the screen. To navigate to a gold mineral, we need to know two things, its direction and its distance. The TensorFlow system provides an estimated angle to an object, but it doesn't provide an estimated distance. In our sample op mode, we'll estimate the distance by calculating the ratio of a gold mineral's height in pixels to the height of the overall video image. A small ratio like 0.2 indicates that the gold mineral is still some distance away while a ratio of 0.5 indicates the gold mineral is quite close. I chose to use the ratio of heights rather than widths because the width of a gold mineral will appear to be larger if it is turned at an angle relative to the robot. Our robot is a rover bot with a jaw that opens at the end of a neck. The neck and the jaw are each controlled by a servo. The robot has four wheels with each of the rear wheels driven by a motor. To get the most accurate estimate of angle and distance, we mount the robot controller phone close to the mat with the phone's camera lens at the center of the robot. At any particular time, the TensorFlow system will detect zero, one, or more objects. In the case of Rover Ruckus, the objects will be a mix of gold and silver minerals. We want to ignore the silver minerals and choose a gold mineral. Our example op mode goes through a list of objects and focuses on the first gold mineral on the list. If a gold mineral is detected, it first uses the estimated angle to calculate a pair of motor speeds that will turn the robot towards the mineral. The greater the angle, the greater the power levels. It then calculates the ratio of the apparent height of the mineral to the height of the video image. It compares the ratio to a target ratio that corresponds to one robot neck length from the mineral. If the robot is not close enough, it checks whether it needs to turn first by checking the previously calculated turn power levels. If no turn is needed, it calculates motor power levels proportional to how far it needs to move forward. If it's too close to the mineral, it checks to whether it needs to turn, and if so, it does. Otherwise, it calculates the power levels that will back the robot up a little. If the distance is about the length of the robot's neck, it checks to see if it needs to make a final turn to center on the mineral. If not, it sets the motor powers to zero and activates the servos to lower the neck and open the jaw. If no objects are detected or objects are detected but none of them are gold, it backs the robot up slowly in hopes of bringing minerals into view. As we've discussed, our op mode needs to use a pair of motors to drive the robot and a pair of servos to lower the robot's neck and open its jaw. Here's a list of things that need to be in the config file. Let's see how it does. It's seeking the gold on the left. And it's got it. We remove that one and it's seeking another one. Pick the one on the right. Got that one. Now it's backing up. It's located the third one. And it got that one too. The program isn't as smooth and reliable as we'd like, but I'll leave it up to you to try and come up with some improvements. To keep this video from getting too long, I've only explained a few parts of the op mode code. You'll notice, however, that I've inserted many comments that help explain the code. Here are the web addresses of the full BLK file that you can upload to your robot controller and a file containing an image of the code that you can display or print. We've seen how TensorFlow can be used to find a gold mineral, navigate to it, and attempt to pick it up. To use this approach during the autonomous period, of a rover ruckus match, you'll need to add blocks that get your robot close to the minerals and change the way the blocks are grabbed based on your robot's mechanical design. You'll probably need to make a variety of other changes to get your robot to reliably collect gold minerals. 
You may want to research proportional integral differential control, also known as PID control, and consider whether using that technique would further improve the effectiveness of the op mode.